Hey guys, Vaughn here with another audio review. So this past summer, I inherited a very expensive vintage Sansui receiver. This is the 990 dB, and it goes for some pretty serious money. I didn't actually have any suitable speakers to pair with it, and finding anything was well out of my price range. So I started to turn my audio attention elsewhere, looking at high-end Bluetooth speakers. Enter the Totem Kin Play. Now I picked this up used. Retail price is $1,000. I can't actually buy one of these at retail. Totem Acoustic is very particular about who they allow to sell their speakers. You can't buy them online. And an MSRP of $1,000, I think I got a pretty good deal secondhand, even though mine has a few dings here and there. And this competes directly with Sonos Systems as well as Kef's LSX. But there are a couple of key features that really separate the Totem Kin Play from others. Chiefly, you have a lot of inputs on the back and a built-in Fano stage for playing records. I don't have any vinyls, so I can't exactly test this, but I have heard it is great. You have various line ins you can use. You can also use optical for digital connection. When connecting to Bluetooth, it's extremely simple. Once you have everything set up, plugged in, you just put the switch on in the back. You'll get a red light indicating it's in standby mode. You can then press the front button, give that a long hold, and you will go into Bluetooth pairing mode. No need to enter any kind of codes, it's very simple to connect. Unfortunately, this button doesn't exactly stay on. Also, you have a remote, and it has all your standard features. It's a slim black remote, whether you get the white or the black finished speakers. It's elegant enough, and it does have the all-important standby mode, that power off in the top corner. Otherwise, the Kin Play will kick into standby mode when it's gone an hour without getting anything from a source. It would have been nice to be able to activate standby by mode on the front of the unit as there is a little bit of a hum from everything going on inside but in standby mode it's as well as off unfortunately the choice to include a giant led window will give off a big bright red light i think this could have been a pinhole size and it would have been fine it would have been nice to have some kind of app play with this maybe you're going to be using your phone to use a streaming service like Tidal or Spotify, and it would've been nice to be able to control everything from your phone instead of needing to keep the remote nearby. I also would've preferred to have a USB port somewhere on the back. Maybe you could use it to help charge your music playing device, such as an iPod, or install firmware. As is, I don't think the KinPlay can be updated. The finish on the speakers is very nice in my opinion. Maybe they don't look as showy as Kef's, but this looks timeless to me. No cheap vinyl here. This blends in with the room. And if it doesn't, you can apply the magnetic grills. They just slide on and off with minimal resistance. And with them off, you don't have any kind of odd connection at the front of the speakers. So they look good either way. And once broken in, in the course of maybe 50 to 80 hours of play, you'll get the same caliber of sound with or without grills. But how does the Totem Kin play sound? Well, it certainly sounds like a thousand bucks. I mean, this sounds excellent. Totem is known for prioritizing staging in their speakers so you have this understanding of where individual bandmates are standing when they play instruments or sing and it makes for a holographic 3d like experience from just listening easily the best sounding speakers i've personally ever heard granted most of the time it seemed like i was around speakers it was like at some little showroom at a sears showing off tiny little bose units if you're a serious audiophile, I think you'll be inclined to check these out. The Totem Kinplay does feature aptx HD. This is a Bluetooth protocol that allows you to listen to near CD-like sound on a Bluetooth connection. These do not feature Apple AirPlay 2, or one for that matter, but can easily be added on by purchasing a now expired Apple Airport Express. If you are an iPhone user, you don't have access to aptX HD, but you do have AAC, which is still going to give you better than the old MP3 that we are used to listening to. Currently, I'm not using AirPlay aptX HD. I'm listening to these through AAC sounds great to me. And I don't think you're gonna notice anything different unless you're listening to lossless files. Now I'm not comfortable assigning any kind of number review to this as I do have a used unit here that saved me some dough. 
I haven't tested out all features, nor do I have the capabilities to do so. Uh, for example, I don't have a powered sub, and I haven't heard a lot of high-end Bluetooth speakers before. Just know these are the best I've ever heard. So we're at the part of the video where I have to beg you to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell because subscribe doesn't really account to anything other than YouTube might someday send me a plaque.